practices today as it will be. So genetic medicine is the practice of medicine which evaluates patients with genetic disorders to try and understand and manage genetic disorders. Mm -hmm. The challenge we have as geneticists is providing diagnostic care for tests because tests are pretty expensive. And in medicine, you know, we have tier one tests, tier two, tier three. Mm -hmm. So that if you use the same principle in genetics, a tier one test is like a karyotype. Uh, I work in Nairobi, so the price might range anywhere from 10,000 to 40,000. So that's an average of about 25, 30,000. It might still not give you an answer. So then now we move on to a tier two test, which can cost, which is what we call a gene panel, mm -hmm. anywhere from 50,000 to 120,000 very prohibitive for most people. Remember you've already spent 30,000. Mm. So now you do a tier two test at an average cost of 80,000, which means you hope you can get a diagnosis, you still don't get a diagnosis. Then the ultimate testing for genetic disorders is looking at your whole genome, trying all your 20,000 genes, trying to understand what this complex disorder you have, my client. Like when you've gone a sequential genetic testing, you spent about 200, 250,000 genes. Hopefully you have a diagnosis and then you can have a way forward for the patient. But sometimes when despite that, you don't have a diagnosis. So they are extremely prohibitive. And we know that the nature of genetic disorders is that they are not covered by insurance. So people are paying out of pocket. So genetic disorders are very common, but they're extremely expensive both to investigate, to manage, and majority of them do not have a cure. What you're doing is symptomatic treatment. So that somebody comes with a congenital heart disease what you are trying to do is maybe correct the yeah? effect they have something else you can be largely managed but there is no definitive cure for the vast majority but that will change in the coming decades so a clinical geneticist works in concert with other specialties so a patient coming with a genetic disorder like polycystic kidney disease hypertrophic cardiomyopathy those are managed by nephrology and cardiology respectively so where a, a geneticist comes in is in diagnosing the genotype and then cascading uh, diagnosis to other affected family members but management largely falls under the subspecialty under which uh, the genetic disorder. Mm -hmm.